Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. We are here, and let's... Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's, get ready let's get ready to rumble here on Legal Tampering Day. We're only a few minutes away from legal tampering happening, and um, I don't expect my Dallas Cowboys to do much. Um, I will, in fact, say that we could probably take last year's show and just copy it and just rebroadcast it because that's not the Dallas Cowboys nature. The Dallas Cowboys haven't even um, dealt with their own players, much or less uh, think about them looking at other players. Um, just a half hour ago, Jane Slater tweeted this. As a matter of fact, as the negotiating window gets ready to open, I feel like I could just copy and paste from previous years. The Cowboys free agent strategy looks to be the same. Uh, sign their own guys. I'm told they didn't even attend Odell Beckham Jr.'s workout, but Jerry Jones still has interest. Now, the thing that I think the Cowboys actually need to worry about is Micah Parsons. Because Micah Parsons, you know he has been all off season about players, you know, Jalen Ramsey just tweeted a few days ago, next stop Dallas. When Calais Campbell, um, talked about wanting to get that ring. He's like, come to Dallas. Um, you know, Micah Parsons understands, excuse me, understands that he alone can't be enough that they need to bring some other players along with them. And in fact, I will say Micah Parsons actually, when Jalen Ramsey, when Jalen Ramsey was traded to Miami for a third round pick, now, now, now let's be clear. Jalen Ramsey is looking for a new contract. He's going to want to bust the bank and get paid, which is something the Cowboys don't want to do. But for me, in my mind, Either I'm giving up draft picks or I'm giving up money. I don't want to have to give up both because then that precludes you from being able to try and get somebody else. And, you know, the fact that they got Jalen Ramsey, who's still one of the best cornerbacks in football, for a third-round pick, going to a team that's already loaded, the thing for Miami is they've just got to keep Tua upright and away from the concussions. And so you look as... Micah Parsons does, and he sees teams making moves like this. At some point, Micah Parsons is just going to implode. And he's going to look at the team and say, you ain't about winning. So you see this tweet yesterday, as soon as Miami um, ended up signing Ramsey, he literally pulled out the Debo clip. Man, I'm so sick of Miami. I'm pulling up on you since you're so rich, Red. Yeah, I <laughs> love that gift. Look. Just don't get knocked the F out, okay? Just don't get knocked the F out. But all seriousness here, um, if we end up having another free agent offseason like we've had where Stephen Jones literally just says we are, you know, believing in our own guys, we don't believe that going out and getting free agents is the way to win. Um, sorry, I hate to, to say differently, what you've been doing, and, and let's, let's think about this. Since 2010, we'll go back to 2010. The only moves the Cowboys have made, big-time moves, are Brandon Carr. That was the biggest free agent signing that they've done. Uh, Greg Hardy, you brought him in for one year. And trading for Amari Cooper. Now, Brandon Carr was never going to be the guy that they thought he was going to be. He was very solid. He was actually a very good cornerback. He just wasn't a great one. Greg Hardy was a mistake because he just didn't have it all upstairs um, attitude-wise. Amari Cooper was a successful trade until they decided just to get rid of it. Um, the thing is, is I'm not going to say that every free agent move ultimately ends up making a team better. We've seen so many. You can look, point to the Washington Commanders, uh, some of the free agent moves. I can't honestly look and say 
any free agent move that the Washington Commanders have ever made has made them a juggernaut or won them anything. It hasn't. And you can look at that team and say they've made more than anybody. You can look at some of the moves that the Giants have made in free agency and and say they haven't had a lot of success with it either. But I think in some cases, a lot of those have been reaching um, as opposed to really looking at the situation. And I'm not suggesting that you go for the -the over-the-hill, big-name free agents. But we are always at the bottom-tier level. We are not looking and saying, we have a need where we need a big oomph. Now, here's the thing. Cowboys haven't re-signed any of their free agents other than Terrence Steele and putting a franchise tag on uh, Tony Pollard. We got two linebackers in Anthony Barr and Leighton Van Der Esch that are going. If the Cowboys were to sign a Bobby Wagner, I think it would be a big sigh of relief. It would be okay, we are doing things differently. But I hate to say, if we see Odell was signed with somebody this week and we see Bobby Wagner signed with somebody this week and the Cowboys make no move, it's going to be ugly. And um, the thing about it is, it wouldn't surprise me if that's exactly what happens. That the Cowboys... As always, we heard about, you know, uh, Dan Quinn calling Bobby Wagner last year. You know, we got excited about that. We heard about Von Miller, you know, with DeMarcus Ware, you know, saying, hey, pick up the phone, Jerry, give me a call. And we get all excited. We start licking our chop. Our mouth starts getting wet. And it ends up being, no, we're not going to do that. And then... Knowing that the Cowboys aren't doing any of these things, then we look at team, the team that overachieves, and we look at them and say, you guys are failures. Well, free agency window is now open, and we'll see if the Dallas Cowboys actually do anything. I have hopes. I have dreams. But I ain't expecting anything to happen. And if it does happen, we're going to be here all day. We're going to be here, here, hoping from Joe Boo Central that something is going to happen. I'm Mark Holmes. Well, I hope I can come through and say, breaking news, the Dallas Cowboys just signed anybody. I'll see you guys soon.